please keep watching if you want to see how I achieve this easy everyday glam. Let's get started. I'm starting off with priming my eyelids as I always do, just to prolong the wear of my eyeshadows but most of all to help cancel out any darkness on the eyelids. This is the new Cocoa Blend palette from Zoeva and I am just in love with the colour combination in this palette. I'm taking the colour substitute of love and placing that in the crease and blending it up towards the brow bone. For the lid, I'm taking the colour Bitter End and patting that on following the natural shape of my eye. And that's all I do for the top lid. To prime my skin, I'm using Benefit's Pore Professional and just using my fingers to apply that to the skin. For foundation, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and just applying it the usual way I do. If you want to see a full in-depth tutorial about how I achieve a flawless base for makeup, you'll find the link below. This foundation is great for oily skin and it's super full coverage as well if that's the look you like. If you brush it onto the skin it does set quite quickly so I do use a damp beauty blender to work it into the skin and get rid of any brush strokes or harsh lines. For concealer I am obsessed with the Makeup Forever full coverage one. This also sets quite quickly, but again, it's easily worked in with a damp beauty blender. Guys, I do know these products can be quite heavy, especially when you layer products on top of products. But, if you apply small amounts along with using a sponge to blend it out, it will thin the product out and appear flawless on the skin. To set everything in place, I'm using a translucent powder and patting it all over the face. I prefer this application as a brush can sometimes take the product off because it's not fully set yet. Moving on to contour, I'm using the colour Fawn and just using that to carve out my cheekbones. I love this colour because it's a cool tone and grey based. I, I do use warm tones or cool tones to add some definition to the cheek. It really depends on the look I'm going for. I'm also applying that colour to the sides of my forehead. To brighten up the under eye a little bit more, I'm using the colour Banana from that same palette and also applying that down the bridge of my nose and the middle of the forehead. To bronze up the skin, I use Laguna from NARS and I just apply that to just above where we contoured. This palette from NARS was limited edition, but you can purchase all of the blushes and the bronzer separately. Out of my So Susan Lip Love bag, I'm using the Illuminator to illuminate my face and go for the dewy look. It's a gorgeous light gold colour and glides on so smoothly. I apply this to the high points of my cheekbones, sides of my forehead, brow bone and my nose. To finish off the eyes, I'm applying the colour Beans Are White. It's actually not a white colour, it's quite dark. Just to the lower lash line. Making sure to also blend it out so that it has a gradient effect. For brows, I've been obsessed with two products lately. The Brow Wiz and the Dip Brow in Medium Brown. I lightly fill in the front of the brow with the Brow Wiz. Then with the Dip Brow I create the shape of the tail and fill in most of the brow. Yeah. 
For mascara, nothing new here, just apply one coat to the top and the bottom lashes. For lashes, I'm applying Wispy Me Away by Velour. Then with a light coloured eyeliner pencil, I line the waterline. This will just make your eyes pop. Yes, I know this is upside down, but anyway, I'm using the colour Stone from Dose of Colours Matte Lipstick range. And just applying this to the lips following my natural lip line. For this look, I don't use a lip liner. And that's my easy, everyday glam look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials like this one.